conservationists are excited to release this rare Oliver Ridley sea turtle back into her home. The turtle was rescued during a cleanup at the Matura Beach by environmental group Nature Seekers. The turtle still has marks from the net that it was entangled in. Since then, the turtle has been in the care of the El Socorro Wildlife Center for Conservation in Freeport. Olive and green, pretty much the same color, especially with Trinis. So, and the shape, once it's a hard shell and shape like that, about that size, it's a green sea turtle. But if you look really closely, it has a hard shape. And that's what makes it very distinct and different from the green sea. The green sea also gets to about 300 pounds. This guy, well, this girl here is almost fully grown. She's not going to get too much bigger than this. Nature Seekers got approvals from the Environmental Management Authority and the Forestry Division. The center did its assessment and began rehabilitation through fluid therapy. Mr. Mead said the turtle is yet another victim of ghost nets left in the ocean. Lots of sea life gets caught up in it and eventually dies. So the turtle was literally struggling for her life and rolling in the surf. Um, they managed to go in, pull her out, cut off the net, and they realized that she was literally exhausted, you know, barely alive. The turtle has gotten a clean bill of health. Miss Amid said she will now be returned to the ocean on Saturday. We're going to give her a little more fluid today, and tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, she should be on the beach in Matura, crawling into the water, and to be on her way. The Oliver Ridley is the most common turtle in the world, but rare here in Trinidad and Tobago. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.